Well, Special Counsel Jack Smith's office is planning to appeal the stunning decision from a federal judge dismissing the criminal classified documents case against Donald Trump. The judge determined that the appointment of the special counsel violated the Constitution. CBS News legal contributor and attorney Katrina Kaufman joins me now from Milwaukee with more on what comes next. Katrina. Good morning, Anne-Marie. As you said, this was a stunning and very unexpected decision right as the Republican National Convention was beginning on Monday. Judge Cannon has found that Jack Smith, as special counsel, was both unlawfully appointed and unlawfully funded, going against decades of precedent that goes back to the Supreme Court decision in U.S. versus Nixon, which upheld the appointment of a special counsel by the attorney general. In her opinion, the judge made multiple citations to the recent Supreme Court opinion in U.S. versus Trump, in which Justice Clarence Thomas made a surprising concurrence where he said that he questioned the lawfulness of the appointment of the special counsel. Now, constitutional scholars and uh, sources that I've spoken with have questioned the validity of this decision. They say that it is simply legally wrong and that the timing of it is a bit suspect as well. We know that when Cannon was first assigned this case, she was asked by at least two federal judges not to take it on due to her lack of trial experience and the fact that she had so shown some favoritism toward Trump in the past. Now, the next step will be that the Justice Department has authorized Jack Smith to appeal this decision to the 11th Circuit. This is a conservative circuit, but they have overturned Cannon's rulings before. Uh, Jack Smith may also ask to remove her from the case entirely. This is a rare and extreme move, but this is also a very, very big decision that she has made here. It's also important to note that because she didn't dismiss this case on the merits of the charges themselves, she didn't dismiss the merits of the case. It was based on the appointment of Jack Smith. Another option is that a U.S. attorney could refile this case. Hmm. Oh, very interesting, Katrina. Thank you so much.